On my first date with Justin, I brought him to some really special places. I guess I just wanted to see if they made him as happy as they made me. And they did. Together, we explored. We gathered food. And we just rejoiced in being a part of nature. It definitely set the tone for our life of adventure. A lot has changed since then. But we decided to bring Buddy to these special places to see if he can find his own joy in them. We wanted to go diving, but the ocean is too rough. Which feels like a good metaphor for life and parenthood, as you can't always do what you have planned. So we met up with some friends. And since we parents are always the ones guiding our kids, we decided to let them take the lead on this adventure. And the first task they chose was flower picking. Buddy, look this one. Oh, that's one way to do it. Nice flowers, buddy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Thank you. Seemed a little silly, but it was fun to watch them work together. Poor Maria. Sometimes their ideas seemed rather questionable. We need a lot. Tilly, what are you making with these? But they always worked out. This movie. Together we got food from nature and created meals to celebrate. All my hard work. <laughs> to make a frozen treat with our homegrown bananas and our hand-squeezed coconut milk. That's some of the grated coconut meat that we squeezed the milk out of. Maybe I'll add just, just a little pineapple. Let's see. Now we've got to freeze it. Buddy, don't throw sand. Can I jump in, buddy? Yeah, but I'm not going to jump in. Okay, did you fall down in the sand? Uh -huh. We're 
right on your face. He's just got a mustache. Who wants to try some ice cream? Yeah. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. First, we need a coffee pot. being really great teachers. Kind of reminded me of our younger selves. After all, I guess a big part of love is keeping that childlike sense of wonder forever strong and finding someone to share it with. 